right, boys, we're on the move this early with for either one of two things. Either we're going hunting or we're going on a road trip. And duck season's over. So road trip it is. Whoa! Alright, so we're going to hook up with SP Dan and his dad, and we're going. We gotta go from Latrobe, where the SPE HQ is, to Beckley, West Virginia. It's about a four hour drive. Um, I had to get gas. He pulls in in a straight pipe Bronco, dude. Here it is, we're getting the Bronco, boys. Blue. There's a whole crew of people out there waiting. No one can break it. It's literally a paper one. Do it. Is it really? Yeah. Put it in your pocket. I'm not putting that in my pocket. Come on, it'll fit. It'll look funny. Hold that up so I can see it on the camera. That's a red truck. That is red. That is red, dude. Well, I think, I think, uh, I think it's red. Clifford, holy red. All right, first door open. Smells good. We need to put a light on top of this thing. Like we're going to the <laughs> going to the fire call. Like the fire call. Uh-huh. Reach out, so, put your blue light on the top or whatever, or get the little deal in I here. I think uh I think this thing has to be called Clifford. Clifford. I mean what else we, what else are we gonna call it? Cliffy. It's Clifford for sure. Clifford the big red uh ho. <laughs> the big red ho. <laughs> Guys, it is an HO. Yeah, it is an HO. Hi output so are we like so what, what how are we uh how are we doing this what do you, you want to you want to tell them like big news yeah you want to tell them we're we dropping the ball we dropping the you egg want, right yeah now. you want to drop that <laughs> um big 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 news like monster monster news is we want to give back we're giving right. back and it's going to be freaking awesome we're gonna collab. Um, so what? Would you? We're gonna tell them it straight out right now. What do you want to do? Like in the dealership lot? Like hey, like SPE Top Garage collab giveaway? Yeah. 
There you heard it. That's it. That's a lot. We're just shooting it straight out there. Yeah. Why not? All right, guys. So or, not only are we going to be, you know, giving back to the customer as far as making parts and doing stuff like that for them, but yeah. we want to give back because, yeah. So yeah. what he said, giving back to you guys. Yes. Buy merch, win trucks for real. Not even, this isn't a joke. This isn't no April Fool's. This is the real deal. And we're going to do... You know, you'll, you'll be helping work on them. We'll be putting our parts on them. Yeah. You know, supporting the community with what we do. It's going to be a freaking epic ride. And you know what else is cool about doing the 23 as a giveaway? It's going to be one of the first 23s with our parts on it. Exclusive. With SPE parts on it. Highly exclusive. Yes. So, we need your input. You've seen the race red. 2023 f-250 we'll go over the details when we get back to the hq should this be the first giveaway or what what do you guys think we're going to figure it out on our end but we need your input you know what what, you, what you're thinking yeah so yeah for sure we're going to drive this thing we're going to test drive it let's see let's see how it rides do you think it's i think it's ready to do a burnout but if we're going to give it away think, we probably i think we should at least it. pull out of the handicap space <laughs> before we do a burnout <laughs> <laughs> All right, right in the do... front spot all right, pulling out, pulling out, boys. 23, coming off the lot, brand new. It smells good in here. Turn left onto Hey, they got a performance shop right across the street. Oh! First thoughts. Um, it feels bigger inside. What do you think? Yeah. I mean, it feels... It's I'm just, saying it's just like, all different. It just feels so different. Right. I'm sure having the console, like, in the lariats and stuff. Right. I'm sure that would be a little more, tighten it up a little bit more, but it just feels big. I feel like we got so used to the 17 to 19 right. insides that we're just so used to those. Yeah. But this is just, it's just so different. All right. We made it exactly one mile <laughs> in the truck. <laughs> one mile. And we're stopping for food. <laughs> I almost creamed the new door off the other truck here. Real nice. All right, guys, you got to check this out. We've been on the road a little over two hours. No reset on the fuel mileage. Never reset it. He's just been driving. And we're driving through the West Virginia mountains. Like, full on. No exaggeration. Look at the mileage. It's going to go down here because we're getting up on a hill. But we're averaging 20. 20 miles to the gallon. I mean, that's, it just dropped to 19.9. Yeah, because we're going up this little hill here. That's crazy. What are your I thoughts? Mean, well, I mean, we just discussed this. What was it? We'd say, what, five, six years ago? People would have killed for this. Yeah. I mean, and we're talking a truck that's completely unmodified. Straight off of the showroom. Right. So, I mean, they were back to 20 again already. But... You figure, you do some basic things to this. That could go up exponentially, I mean. It's like we're going over the Grand Canyon. Right? <laughs> Four hours later. Yeah. What did we end up on fuel wise? Look at this oh. work truck. <laughs> Look at this work truck. Uh, 21. What is going on on the screen there? 21.1. 21.1. 21.1 average fuel mileage. That's great. That's not bad at all. Well,
what's the verdict? I'm just looking at some different stuff here. The coolant's interesting. Coolant line going to the turbo. Yeah, com cooling the compressor cover with coolant. So that's interesting. That one right there. Yeah, these two. Or wait, um, this one and this one. Alrighty. Very, very big, exciting news happening. This has been in the works for quite some time. And I guess we dropped it in the video today. You guys heard it right there. So lots of more details and stuff to come on that in the very, very near future. Um, SPE Dan's gonna start tearing into the 23. He's gonna see what parts fit, what parts don't fit. Check the stuff from the 22s to see what can be carried over. And then obviously see what needs to be redesigned or reworked or whatever. So. If you guys are interested in that, hit the subscribe button, follow along the journey for the 23 stuff. It's going to be cool. And then also the giveaway stuff. Very, very big, very exciting stuff. So I'm going to be covering all that very, very soon. So it's 7 o'clock. I'm done for the day. I'm headed to the house. I will see you guys on the next one. Looks like we're going over the Grand Canyon. Right? <laughs> Those guys are scoping it out. <laughs> they're, going to, they're going to bungee cord off there. <laughs> bungee cord. Bungee <laughs> cord. I wonder if they do do the bungee off. Do they skydive or do they? I think they, yeah, I think what's they, that, base, what's it they called? base jump. What? When you're, on, when you're on the bungee cord? Uh, I'm drawing a real blank right now. Like what, what do you mean, what are they called? You know when you're doing, you got the cord tied to your feet and you jump off there? Yeah, it's bungee jumping, isn't it? Is it? I think they call it, it bungee. It didn't sound right, or what Bun I call it. Bungee jumping. Bungee jumping. Yeah. <laughs>